I'm Dr. Lori, and I'm back with Beth from Dainty D Merchandise. You can find her on YouTube. We did an unboxing, and wow, we found some great stuff. Well, we're going to do the rest of it now. Oh, here comes the blue. <laughs> yeah, here we big go. old blue chunk here. Yeah, nice. It's a little tangled. All right, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, it's got some jewels on it, too. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that nice a lot. Necklace. So, um, you know, this is very, this is a very popular shape with rose quartz, you know, uh, faceted, but in fact, the, the teardrop shape of different sizes, you know, I've seen this in rose quartz and then you see it in this, this form, sort of a, a calidone, a chalcedony color, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the dark and blues with the lighter blues. I like this a lot. And those look like they're crystals too. They almost have a little greenish hue to them. Yeah, I wonder why they chose. So, so they're on the blue scale, but they're kind of little. Their reading is green. Yes, they're definitely and, more green. That's too bad. I'm surprised they designed that with the green rather than more blue. Yeah, I would have definitely would have preferred more of the blue rather than yeah, that kind of too. random green. I'd still go 50 bucks on that. I'd go high on that because that's a statement necklace. That's a nice piece. You can do a lot with that. You can dress up a lot of things with that. You and again, that style, that clust, that style of a lot of it comes out of the uh, the 1970s. This, this is a neat little leather brand. doesn't like to stay down. <laughs> oh, sometimes leather can be controlled. You know, the same way that you can control, you know, the leather that's that's funny on a sofa or something, or even in your car if you have leather in your car seats. I don't have leather car seats, but basically, if if you look at those kinds of things, sometimes um, leather, if you get the softener right? Or if you get the, uh, the leather sort of cleaner sometimes, which you have to be careful when you use that on, on jewelry pieces. Yeah. Definitely try it in a small spot. Right. Try it in a small spot. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe, maybe 10. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. So we have a mark on here. Or a that's tag. good. Nice clear tag. Yes. Large tag here. So I probably don't even need the loop for that one. Sure you do. Avenue. Oh, okay. So Fifth Avenue. Yep. And can I see the, I can't see the bottom. It's a bar. Oh, oh, I there see. So it's like a smiley face bar. It's a yes. curve. I like that though. That's the nineties, right? Everybody wore those in the nineties and early two thousands. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, it's still in vogue now. No marking on it though. So it's probably of course a base metal. Yes, I agree. And you can actually see a little bit of that plating coming, coming off. Coming off, or the plate is coming just off. Just right. a small amount. So, would you go twenty-five or would you go thirty-five? Probably. I would 25. probably go twenty-five, just since it's got a little bit of that wear. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, it's in good condition. Yeah, and a lot and of people I, will still wear it. And I like the mesh uh, chain portion. Yeah, I do as well. I like that. I'm I'm sorry that the plating's coming off a little bit, but I have to say, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice piece. It's pretty classic. But, you know, you expect a, a lot of pieces. You expect a little bit of vintage stuff, but you expect the pieces right. to be relatively contemporary, right? Within Absolutely. the last 20 years or so. Mm -hmm. Another chain. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it a little, is it just the chain or is there a little tiny? Looks like it's just the chain just with, the chain. Little, I guess, extra for length. So that looks like a rope chain with an extender. Is that what that is? Or it's just extra yeah. at the top? Huh, okay. And it looks like some of that coating again is wearing off or plating is wearing off. It looks like yeah, it's sort of yeah. gold at one point. So when you, now, would you, do you clean them before? I do. Yeah. I always try and clean them before, sanitize before all of photograph. those things before we send it out. And before you photograph them too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite, uh, like for, for a necklace like that, do you have a favorite cleaner? Um, I try to stick with... I know my my grandma, my mom would would prefer me using Tarnix, mm -hmm. uh, but I also use the. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with this brand. Yeah, just the polishing cloths. Yeah, the cloth, yeah. and then they have a cleaner as well, and it came all in a kit, so that's nice for me. This you can do something with, but not a lot of value. No, I'll probably give it to my oldest boy because he actually kind of likes these ropes. So all right, that's good. <laughs> Earring and a bangle, a bent bangle. Okay. <laughs> eh. 
Uh, yeah, eh, I'm not crazy about either of those. That one has that kind of Middle Eastern form, but it's yes. very low quality material, so not mm -hmm. all that valuable. Filigree, especially with a teardrop like that, is usually a Middle Eastern form. Very popular during the exotic period, which is the 1960s. You see a lot of that. Uh, it goes along with, oh, this is nice. Oh, it's um, the A. Here, can you see it? Oh, yeah. So it, what is it, Anya? I think Etienne Anya, that's what it looks yes, like. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. So that piece is probably from the 80s, uh, early like 90s. That. That's a nice piece. Yeah, I like that. It's I got like kind that. Of purplish pink. So it's got a purplish pink kind of inset as prong set. That's yes. Nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. The metal's okay. And when with what to look for. Uh, you can show us the back of that pendant quickly, Beth. I don't mean to st slow you down, but yeah, just fine. the back of that pendant, you can see how the has sort of the rope element comes around. If you see a lot of scratches or a lot of sort of indentations in the back of the area that's holding the white uh, the, or the pinky piece on the other side, mm -hmm. that usually tells you you're, you're dealing with a uh, base metal, relatively low quality base metal. But I'd still put $50 on that piece. I would agree. Yeah, I like that. Oh. All right. Now that looks like a 1970s insert for a um, oh wedding band for a wedding band. That's yeah. right. In the 70s, that was very popular, even into the 1980s, where you would put your solitaire diamond inside. You put your solitaire diamond inside of that particular piece. We do have a mark. Yeah. 14k. Is it white gold? It looks like it could be. Can't quite read that mark. They have them in here on the on this in spot. Oh right wow, here. yeah. Well, let's test the stones. Let's see if you got some yeah. diamonds. We might have a real bargain right here. Oops. Let me try it again. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe they're uh, mm. not coming up. Nope. <laughs> ah, you hit the metal; it makes the noise. Yep, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's not going up, but. Okay. But I think that's for an insert. So I think so too. And it's for and it's set in fourteen. So maybe it's a spin. It could be a spinel, you know. Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. Definitely could yeah. be a spinel. Could be a spinel. So and still nice. I think a lot of a lot of fire on it too. So I'd probably be just around a hundred bucks on that. But if it is fourteen karat, you saw a fourteen karat gold mark. You might even be a little higher than that. Uh, nice. You know, and then it it will really it will really dress up a solitaire if you have a small. Of course, diamond engagement ring. Okay. Well, it reminds me of Milano, right? Reminds yes. me of Italian blown glass beads put together on a chain. So, and those are popular from ugh, all the way back to the 1200s when Murano was starting this stuff. But typically you see those in the late 1900s, uh, especially with the gold inside the bead. So that's an Italian bead necklace, uh, bracelet, excuse me. And I would say definitely that's 30 bucks. As long as you've got a good clasp on it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe 25, 30 bucks. All right, so here's that match to my last. Oh. It's not, um, is that the, did we already find the other one to that? So what happened? You had this one in a different box? Is that what you mean by a match? I did. So yeah, I had this one in my last box. These two boxes came together. I saved this one for us to do. And oh, I see. Yeah, so that's there's a match for that. Wow, that's great. That's great. It's beautiful. It's, it's marked it all. So nice filigree work, a lot of metal work there. And then basically they replicate or they stamp out each one of those little diamonds, those diamond forms of the two-tone metal, and then they just put them all together. Oh. So they do a lot with that. You probably could find necklaces, bracelets, and, and more of those um, earrings. Some of the earrings are going to have four of those elements, of those diamond elements, and some might just have one, you know. So I, I like that. Beautiful. Unmarked, though. Unmarked, no markings, but good shape. 35 for the pair. Good shape. Nice. I've gotten a lot of these. Oh, yeah? Many, many of these. And I, I actually don't mind this because it's got these little details it's not just a normal plastic bangle yeah all right well so it, you know it has its that. place right <laughs> absolutely well it's looking like a uh pandora style anyway yes <clears throat> right but no markings definitely a knockoff stretchy yeah. stretchy that's an idea huh the stretchy ones 
It's another nice one for my daughter. Spoiled that girl. is a nice one. <laughs> That's that's not bad. That's really not too bad. No. You know, maybe the ten dollar range, maybe. Yes. Yeah. When it look if does it look like Pandora, smell like Pandora, it might be Pandora. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any of the markings on there, but no, it's not. It's a little it's light. No, it's not. But all right, we got a little ring here for a keychain, it looks like. Okay, a little keychain ring, all right. And then a little tiny. Tiny, yes, teeny tiny, a little daisy. Okay. Cast metal. No. All right. Looks like it might have a marking. Let's I, see. It, yeah, I have to say it didn't look too bad, although it is tiny. It's It says stir, so sterling. Yeah. So it's sterling, yeah. So, so, so that's that. nice. Is that the end of the box? Is something hiding in there? Maybe it's inside. Maybe you have to take that knife out of yours. We're getting closer. I'm almost to the bottom here. Oh, okay. Keep looking. Might be hooked to something else. Oh, we found another ring here. That must go inside that other thing. You know what? Does it fit in there? Yeah, sure does. There it is, kid. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what that is. Test that. I doubt that's a diamond, but you know, it's sparkling. Maybe it's this, maybe it is some colorless stone. I like something. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it looks good. They look good together though. They do. They look very good together and it's got it that same marking. It looks like. Yeah. So you know, you've got a, not a diamond, but you've got a nice colorless stone. It's got a lot of fire and sparkle. I would probably put 50 bucks on that piece. I and agree. you said you saw some 14 karat gold, so I might even go as high as 75. So that's nice, you know. Very shiny. Look for the mark though. Make sure to confirm that mark. Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure you would, you know exactly what you're doing. So. Yeah, you got to make sure because people will let you know if you were wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I mean, they're you're paying customers. Sure that, well, that's true, but you also have to make sure that you're correct. Absolutely. Right? So you have to make sure you're correct. You have to make sure that if they say you're not, that you have, of course, your evidence is, now wait a minute, I looked this up and I know. So, you know. Yes. Yeah. That's why I always like to either call you or make sure I go up to a jeweler and make sure that I, I can get those things have, checked you out. You know, have your own confidence too, because, you know, all you guys are working hard, you resellers. Yes. So what else have we got here? And you know, a lot of that information uh, about, you know, how do you do, how do you sell it? What do you do before you list it is on my newsletter, which a lot of folks subscribe to, which you could subscribe to at drlaurieb.com. It's where the thumbs up free uh, icon is on the website. So this looks like it's beaded like macrame. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Got a little dolphins at the end, kind of get a little spice, I guess. All right. Well, the box did come from Florida. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, the nice all. blue hues for the beach too. Yeah, nice. Okay, so probably, probably you know, in that ten range, maybe a little less. Coral, multi-strand, hmm. lots of strands, and lots it looks of like strands. Okay, go easy on that because it might all come out. <laughs> yes, I think so too. I can't. Yeah. I think it might have been a broken string. It might have already come yeah, out. You might have to work with that, or maybe that yep. just okay. There it is. Goes away. Okay. Yeah, but it looks like it was. It was strong, but it looks like it probably broke. Okay, but it doesn't really harm the rest of it, right? No, you can't even tell. I like that. I do too. I like that coral. You know, of course, has a long tradition in the history of jewelry. Coral would be worn by those who were ill as children. Um, coral was thought to have medicinal properties and actually Ooh. still is because naturally, of course, coming from the earth. Um, coral oftentimes is worn by those who are ill and in hopes that they will feel be better, be uh, better. But I like this and I like, of course, the silver tone metal uh, yeah. elements. That's nice a nice piece. Tone. That's a really nice piece. That's a nice piece of coral. So... I'm going, I'm going high on that. I'm going 150 on that. I would get rid of that other, that other strand. And remember, you have to be in the right market, right? So yeah. I always evaluate the whole market. And these values I'm giving are based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold. If you have a particular store where you're always only selling things in the 10 to $25 range, then, you know, putting a piece up like that and asking, uh, um, an amount that's a lot higher than your typical store, maybe some of your regular buyers will be surprised by that. So make sure you're reselling in the right market too. I like this. Do you like this? I do. I like the dye. There's nothing wrong with the dyed shells. Yep. 
nice yep. Florida vibes again. Yeah, I like that piece. That piece, of course, is late 20th century. Uh, again, the 70s to about the 90s, and I would say value. How long is that? That's a 30 inch. It's very long. Yeah, I would. I would think at least 30. That's a 30 inch. Pretty so long. So I'd probably, I'd probably go somewhere in that 50 to 65 dollar range. I'd probably go 65 dollars on that because I like the fact that there's so many of them, even though they're just dyed yeah. shells. There's so many of them, and and certain color schemes are always going to be good. You know, brown looks lousy on me, but a lot of people wear beige brown and such. So <laughs> I think that's nice. Oh, wow. Big. Yes, very big. Lots of uh, layers here. Yeah. Sort of graduated, I guess. I'm trying to get bigger, radiates out. A little bit of wear on that, on the top part, but otherwise, mm -hmm. good shape. Yeah. So, was, but that would be behind your ear. Yes. Yes, it yeah, would. Okay, well, that's a little better. Wouldn't even see it. So, wouldn't see it. So but again, okay. when you're trying to buy, when you're trying to sell it, it's hard to go, well, you wouldn't see it, but still. <laughs> right. <laughs> So it looks like this is a broken pearl, but nice pearls. Pearl. Okay. Looks like it's on a stretch band. Yeah, so that's a lot, right? So you'd have somebody who's a designer work with those. I would. I would. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Another earring. It, you know, it's good to have those materials that are good materials, too. That's another earring. Yes. Looks like another oh, yeah. pearl. That's, yeah, that's probably. Fake pearl, though. Yeah, okay. Oh, fish. Oh, no. Oh, it's not fish. It's the ribbons. Yes. Looks like okay. the ribbons. Uh, I think it says brave. Yeah, maybe it relates to, um, maybe it relates to breast cancer research or Susan Coleman. They usually use the ribbons. Yeah. Maybe the, and maybe, yeah. Maybe the pink uh, enamel has worn off. It's usually pink ribbons. So, Okay. good box it is this has been fun yeah lots of different vibes here okay so you've got two different ones there are there two necklaces together they are, they're connected so it is connected ah. it looks like the tree really? the tree of life and then oh i see so it's kind of trees together Jeez. yes that's interesting yeah i don't i don't i really wouldn't have thought they would have been together since it's such different you know, chunk of metal. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind very of very dainty okay. and then very chunky. Right. Well, and then I think, well, if you have to question it or you're trying to figure it out, it's not yeah. all that easy for resale. Yes. Right. Somebody might like it, but it's going to be. It's not the traditional. Hey, this is what it is, and I like it. So I, I mean, at first glance, I would have thought uh, the '70s, if they didn't have that small necklace portion of it, but now looking at it, it's pretty contemporary. Looks like mother of pearl. Yeah, very nice though. It is. I don't like I the glue, is, but yeah, the glue is kind of messy. It is a little messy. No markings either. No markings either. Okay. So, all right. So it's a little. Is it only messy on the on the back side? It is. It's only messy on this side. So you okay. could definitely still sell it. All right. I would say the style reminds me of the 1940s art moderne is what it's called m o r d e r n e um, art moderne style where you sort of have a fan and then you have a circle it fall, comes out of the art deco and it's in that 1940s era around World War II that's the shape of it um, but in fact obviously it's made a little bit later than that it's probably made sometime in the 1980s so I don't know. Value on that's going to be rather low, probably somewhere around 30 bucks on that uh, because of that, of the glue. I think it's probable that that is the original piece, but at some point they had to re-glue it and probably a professional did not, did not re-glue it. And then we've got this. I have to say, I like the purple against the gold tone. I do too. Uh, the law of complementary colors where those two color pairs when put together will st stimulate the optic nerve. So that basically oh. means it's, it's a basic art historical type of thing. It's an art color theory thing that if you put those two colors or any variation of those colors together, what you're looking for here in the back that you've already identified, I'm sure, Beth, the back of that, um, of those little flower forms, 
uh, you can see that each one sort of just holds that element that's molded inside. So yes, I love yeah. that. I think that's a fun little detail. That's a nice detail that shows that these people are making an effort to make that particular form so they can make yes. a lot of these. They're, they probably made a lot of this style necklace using those same elements over and over again. But I like that. Any mark on that at all? No marking, no marking, but it's still, I mean, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. And I would say it's probably, again, probably late 1900s. So probably the 1980s or 90s. And yeah. I probably, so that's a necklace though. So that's probably 17 inches, 18 inches. Yeah, maybe, I would think so. Maybe a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller, but not, I mean, it's not a very, yeah, very long. 16, 17 inches. So I'd probably be around $70 on that. I'd go high on that because I do like the um, the way in which those pieces are sparkling. There's no losses, right? No losses. Wow. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's a good a lot find. Of things, a, lot of design, a lot of design effort went into that. So in that, uh, in that same type of feel, you know, it's kind of an early 20th century design feel, but it's made later. All right. It looks like we might have found, if I can oh. find that other piece. It looks like we found that, that glass bead. Yeah. Looks like it was in a necklace. Oh, I see. In a mystery here. That's great. That's great. Yeah, those are nice pieces. Those are nice pieces. They really do look like Italian blown glass beads yes. set on that on that chain. So maybe it just can maybe all you need is, you know, a couple of little jump rings and, you know, uh pliers to yes. put them back together. So that might be that's I think that might be a good find right there. You found the other part. So now we've got this necklace, which I like. Um, I have to say it has that, that Art Deco kind of feel, repeated yes. forms, right? Anytime mm -hmm. you have a repeated form. And also, of course, graduated. So bigger toward the bottom of the pendant element and then smaller as you go up. So that's, that's pretty typical. Yes, definitely very typical. Pretty colors. Marked. Yeah, so faceted crystals and then marked or not marked. Yeah, I'm not seeing any markings. Okay. No markings. Feels like Sarah Coventry or... or yeah, that or like Avon. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I think that right. particular piece, well, I would look for those open links. I like the open links. I would probably put somewhere around $25 or $30 on that particular piece. Well, I had a great time with the unboxing with Beth from Daisy D Merchandise. Beth, what did you think? Some great pieces, huh? Great pieces, great finds. Yeah, great finds in that box. I love the unboxing. It's a lot of fun with you. Thanks so much for being with me. And thanks to all of you for being with me too. I'm Dr. Lori. I'll see you next time.